In this video, I'm going to share a real case study of Google AdSense arbitrage using Facebook paid traffic, which I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do and some of my mistakes. I'm not here to give you a just a glorified message to get you inside running arbitrage using Facebook. No, I'm here to also give you some of my downfall and most of the things you need to put into consideration before going into Google AdSense arbitrage with Facebook paid traffic. And if you look very closely here, I spent over 595,000 naira on September only. This is just it. Please, this is not a deed. I can reload this page so you can be able to see that this is real data. Nothing. I did not add anything. I did not edit anything. This is 590 something thousand naira I spent in naira. So I think that should be approximately three to four hundred dollars that I spent. So I'm going to be sharing my view journey. Some of the things you need to understand before you start Google Ads and arbitrage using Facebook page Traffic. and i know most of the guru out there are not going to be happy with this video but i believe if you can take your time to watch this video you're going to take off most of the mistake you're going to do when you are going to start this journey let's go if you want to win in arbitrage then you need to pay attention let me share my real-time experience and something you need to put into consideration very very much important if you skip any part of this section then you're not going anywhere you are going to waste your money and still make the same mistake that brought me to you know to do this video and give it out for free now the first thing you need to do this is a must do list before you start arbitrage you need organic website website with organic website with organic with organic traffic i know a lot of people will tell you this is not important those people who are going to tell you this is not important are buying view or self-clicking from tax website or using a proxy or vpn and join it with facebook paid traffic or for somebody who wants to build a sustainable business i like following the two process which is getting the website with Google AdSense and also organic traffic. So the organic traffic range should be within uh, should be within 2,000 organic daily traffic above. I know a lot of people will tell you this does not matter, but believe me, with these organic websites with Google AdSense, if you're running the paid traffic, it helps to give a sustainable traffic flow and help to increase your CPC very well and increase your times, which is your return on investment. It's going to boost your return on investment. The more the daily traffic the organic traffic the more you're going to get more profits if you are going to push more external paid traffic and you're going to be on high profit i know you have not heard about this but most people have heard about it but here is the problem most people will ask me how can i get a website i have google adsense and uh, organic traffic you can look for people to partner the problem we have in africa here is that we like partnership we hate partnership which is very very bad you cannot build a sustainable business alone when you don't have the whole things all to yourself you need to look for people who have the one you're looking for you match it with the one you have and you'll be at the top and another thing you need to put into consideration here is to avoid installing a bad uh, team or plugin avoid installation of any crack plugin i know you will not understand this but it's based on experience i feel like ryan because i know my past experience in this number two avoid hack plugin or team hack plugin or team anything hack plugin or team avoid it on that website you want to use for arbitrage most times these hackers inject a particular something that monitor a particular traffic range that is coming to the website where you install their plugin they can just crack it in one particular plugin maybe an SEO plugin that is on that website, they might be tracking it and know the volume of the traffic from their back ending. Then they will inject a malware that is going to be redirecting your traffic. In most cases, you will not know before you notice you have spent a lot of money on traffic and your website might even end up being hacked by malware or hackers. So avoid this number two. Now, another thing you need to put into consideration in terms of arbitrage is don't spin a content with, uh, uh, you know, getting your content with ChatGPT. I know what you're thinking about here yeah, the laziness and the ability to be creative here is one of the problem i passed through that i want you to avoid get a copywriter to write your content believe me is going to save you a lot just get a copywriter avoid uh, spin content i don't know how to just talk about it avoid um chat gpt chat gpt content avoid it i know why i'm going to tell you this please avoid it get a woman woman being to write your content look for a copywriter look for a copywriter look for a copywriter copy write i think please look for a copywriter to write your content for you you're not going to regret it 
Now another one that I'm going to give out again is avoid sending traffic from Facebook direct to your content, your page. Create a separate page that is going to dilute and spin your traffic because most of the traffic that is going to be coming from Facebook, most of them are going to be bought traffic. There is no place or there is no platform online where you're going to buy traffic that have 100% human traffic okay so there's a gamble at the end of the day so you need to make sure you filter the bad traffic that's going to cause issue to your site and secondly again to filter serious people who are going to engage in your content to reduce your bounce rate because most time um high bounce rate will get your google adsense ban it's not just because you don't have good content google will just point it out as said you have bad content or you have low value content because of the signal of those bot traffic or on serious people who land on the page and go back immediately without spending more time on the website on the content so this would trigger google to say okay fine you, know, you don't have good content that's the reason why we withdraw your contract so make sure you create a landing page a landing page landing sorry landing page land page will help you to filter uh, bad traffic you know take off which is take take off uh, bad traffic bad traffic or on serious people bad traffic so so this is something you need to understand creating a landing page where you're going to also tell the copywriter to write a landing page that's going to drag people to click the action button to the main content where they are looking for so get your copyright who is a professional copywriter with at least a year above experience to write a copy for you for the landing page where you're going to be using to be sending traffic from Facebook why the other one the copywriter should write a good content about be it um, a scholarship or job opportunity in Canada when a copywriter writes your first paragraph in this aspect in you know talking about Canada job or truck uh, job in Canada when they write your your fixed paragraph believe me once the user read the paragraph the copywriter know how to drag the user to spend more time on a web page that's my experience and the mistake i've i've done in past is using chat to generate any our content but if you want to see magic take a good copywriter who is going to understand uh the mode of those audience and write based on what they are going to be interested in reading so drag them to spend time on the website and also engage in clicking your ads so another thing i will urge you to do is to get a professional to do your ad placement so ad placement is very very important this is uh one of the mistakes that i've done in parks i will advise you to get a professional to do your ad placement i know most of you will not understand what i'm saying here you might think it's just easy to just place add here place add here and then that's over but getting a professional who is already engaged with the activity of doing ad placement for people for a long period of time steady consistently every single day will help you to get a good maximum uh, result so you need to get a good uh, professional ad uh, experts placement to do experts so get the expert to do your ad placement for you which is going to help make sure you use a very easy uh, good hosting I think in this case if you are starting new you should not um, you know go to a bigger hosting but please if you are going to go to Namecheap, use Stellar Plus, don't use share hosting, use their Stellar Plus, use a good hosting, use a good hosting. Then you can easily add your website to Cloudflare, which is going to help, okay? So I think this is something you need to put into consideration. Make sure your website load very easily and you have a good hosting, which is also going to help. Another thing I want to also give as a bonus is to make sure you have um, a good team like that's what I said having a good team is going to help so I think I need to stop here if you have any other question in comment section drop it I'm going to be replying or you book a consultation with me and I'm going to also tell you exactly most of the things you need to look into let's also go back to what I started with Having a website with organic traffic and Google AdSense, be it verify or unverify, will help you to get your return on investment. So it's not much you're going to have the website by yourself. Look for people that have a website with organic traffic. I think you should join some blogging community to look for people who have organic website 
and AdSense, but they are not making a good amount of money. You might come up with a policy question of uh, go join some group. How many of you earn $1,000 from Google AdSense with organic traffic? You see, a lot of people are going to be dropping comments. Oh, I earn over $100. Some are going to say, I earn over $100 while I have 2000 traffic. You might go secretly to their inbox and start talking to them and tell them, I can help you to boost your Google AdSense earning by working with you me investing in paid traffic while you are investing on organic traffic so i think you should talk politely and build a relationship you can even host a face-to-face -face meeting agreement with the person why the person is uh, submit their id you submit your own id this is also going to help to build a good uh, relationship to us and you might get a lawyer to conclude the agreement for you guys and you can be able to start your adsense journey but for me this is the thing i want to give out avoid using a website that don't have organic traffic and don't try funny thing with google i think all the whole thing that i'm going to talk about trying those things or let's maybe you're already on phones but if you really want to build with honesty following the policy do exactly what i just said here and you will never regret using a paid organic traffic uh, using a paid uh, Facebook traffic with organic websites that have Google AdSense to run arbitrage. And for those of you who are going to be maybe doubting uh, if this person who is preaching this thing, I've been doing it, I've been doing this, this is the method I've been doing, why I've done a lot of mistakes, and this is the reason why I'm giving out that free information out there. So, see, uh, exactly if I go to my billing uh, payment, if I wish this to load on time depending on the network, definitely I'm going to show you guys my payment sleep, how much I've found on this account, so you understand that I'm not joking here. This is exactly what you need to put into consideration if you really want to take arbitrage as a business the way you are seeing other people winning in arbitrage those gurus out there this is exactly what they are doing and I believe me you're not going to regret following this step and if it's your first time coming across to my channel make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell peace